<laughs> All right, we started. And we are joined by Tim Aiden, if you couldn't tell. That's a lie. All right, we're not, we are not joined by Tim Aiden. I am doing my wonderful Tim Aiden impression. I just want to see some Eldrazi conscripted. I just want to rock in the world. Good. Turn three, War Monk. He's holding a Jace to follow it up with. Alex is on the play, correct? So he missed the land drop? I believe he was on the play, yes. Hello. Are we, did he miss one? He did. Okay. Now Ollie has a Jace in hand, which he can cast. Do you think he's going to just unsummon the leech and go beat down, or? Try to <laughs> Depends get some... what Ollie has in hand, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, he also has Eldrazi Conscription, which isn't going to do anything for a long time. And the problem is if we go for the unsummon play, we're leaving ourselves open for Blightning. I think Alex has him in. Do they have another island to play with? I'm like, <laughs> holding a Misty Rainforest, but you kind of want to save that so you can shuffle away that I'll draw you. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can just cast it. Yeah. The danger of just playing uh, Jace and then bouncing the leeches, it's like, sure, you know, Lightning Bolt you, Jace down, just that yeah. easily. So. Bird stick, or the Noble Herrick sticks around, we can play Sovereign of Lost Aguara on turn five. Wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. I guess you can't attack though, so. Just terminate off of the blood right out. Depending on if he has an answer for the Sovereigns, he might have wanted to take out the Hierarch instead. Well, he can't attack with anything this turn, so he still has a window. So this when you play your Jace and yeah, I think he might just play the Sovereign. I'd rather play Sovereign. He just drew Baneslayer for the turn as well. <laughs> but Sovereign can block everything. Well, so can Baneslayer. If he drew Baneslayer, that may be a better play. If he's got another land to play next turn, or yeah, Baneslayer would be a better play, correct? Right, because he can attack with the next turn and can script it. Right. Yeah. And it's a, it does a better job of blocking. Which one would you rather have live if you're playing around your opponent having another Terminator or Maelstrom Pulse? I don't know, but this is the thing. If you play your Bane Slayer now and, and Alex untaps and gets rid of it, then you untap play a land and you get to conscript your Noble Hierarch. Yeah. So you're saying it's kind of a win-win if we go Bane Slayer first? And if he doesn't kill the Bane Slayer, then we get a conscripted Bane Slayer and gain 30. Oh, we're we'll spinning the wheel. <laughs> It'll lead. And, and we get a ramp and grow. Oh, That's wow. worse than oh. You didn't think it could get worse, but it did. <laughs> and now Alex can't even attack. He has no good attack. Should we put our eggs in a basket and conscript up the Banslayer, or do you just throw it on the Noble Hierarch? I mean, Alex is at 13, so that's uh, 15. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah that's so that's just game. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, in theory, um, he probably doesn't have an answer to Bane Slayer's hand, though, right? Because he would have just played it. And yeah. Cash, so, probably safe there. We wouldn't be gambling on the Cascade if we had the sure thing. Yeah. Oh, but he only has one. Con 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 Does he play two? He has two in his deck, right? He has two conscriptions, oh, okay. so unless he just drew on this turn. Oh, wow. That's amateurish. It's not going to make him prove it. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. got both in his hand. Or he could only be playing one. He, he unscooped. He wants to see it now. All right. Mid scoop. A little bit of dignity. <laughs> and there we go. Colorless yeah. enchantment. Take 13. Take 15, 16, 17. <laughs> oh, exalted. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they both get exalted. Yeah. And that's how you win the game with eight cast across enchantment. It's a good thing he had two, too, because he never had an opportunity to get that back into his deck. With you guys never thought the eight cast of cost enchantments were going to win oh, games in Magic. 
I was never missed the proportions. Forgot about that one. I missed the proportions of stage one. So limited. Was Mythic? You're greedy. Was Mythic only? I had to do it to win. That might have only been seven. Was it was seven minutes. Green, oh, green, was green, it? Green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. Did eight. people actually play that in like non-block constructed? Did they play it in block? I mean, there were some Mythic proportions and Academy researcher decks. You know, Academy researchers put on Mythic proportions. <laughs> I've seen it. Uh, you, hey, you, you asked the question, and I answered it. All you gotta search out with Sovereigns of Lo Sovereign of Lost Alara. It's uh, exalted, and if a single creature attacks that turn that you control, you can search your library for an enchantment and put it into play, enchanting that creature. Yep. It sounds like you're reading that from somewhere. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Down. <laughs> Who drew it? <laughs> Who's the artist? Who's the artist? That's right. <laughs> so you think this deck is going to be the new thing for um, the GPN down in DC? Oh, I bet it'll get played a lot, yeah. Because the Mythic deck was already basically like a tier 1.5 deck or whatever, and now it has this explosive finish, so... Hey, we can see it live. When Gigi's live, May 22nd and 23rd. If you're not just down there, you know. Ed, if you're down there, you know, come say hi. At the KO in DC? It is the KO I'll in be DC. There. I'll be going for a KO. I'll be there. I did not. Tim? Probably, probably not playing once the deck falls in my lap. Well, I, 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 I could get you the uh, the Eldrazi conscription oh, deck if you really want to. If you're serious, I'll play it, yeah. I, I'll, I'll start working on it. I already have my start. Yeah. Uh, I got an Eldrazi conscription from the draft I did earlier. <laughs> did you win that draft? Well, I did two. I won the first one and not the second one. Are you going to play the same sideboard? Uh, the one of Thornling, Sphinx of Jarl, and the yeah. Admonition Angel? No, I'm not playing Admonition Angel. I don't care for that. Really? You know, I removes any permanent. What about tell non lamp me. permanent? Tell me. <laughs> I was trying to play it, get better to play like two main and two board. <laughs> it's not a good idea, but it's just so much fun when it works that, you know. You can just really get catch a polymorph player off guard, I guess, potentially. Yeah. <laughs> they polymorph their one Iona, and then you performance them. <laughs> Like on, on your off color, because they I own a white, obviously. 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 Or red if you're playing John. But they're. But um, then you you perform in some, and either you know you get another Iona, and they they're out of Ionas, or their Ionas in their hand, and they just lose. <laughs> nice deck. That'd be a win. My draft, my opens were the first one were Deathless Angel, the Zandu Tusk Color, which I never drew, and All Is Dust. <laughs> I only played the, the Angel and the All Is Dust once each, so. The actual All Stars of the deck, not kidding, were four Aura Gnarlids and three Lust for Wars. I played Aura Gnarlid for the first time in my third draft last week, and I was impressed. They're way better than they were. And I figured since I was drafting with like you know good players that good players would dismiss it initially. Mm -hmm. since, I, mean, I don't know if I'm good or not, but I dismissed it initially. I dismissed it initially, and then I like got them randomly late. Yeah. And then I had two snake umbros, and I'm like, wait, this is pretty good together. Yeah. Like four four unblockable draws. All right. Yeah. And, you know, random narcolepsies around or whatever. Yep.